A jury must decide if the man who killed a Coeur police officer will face the death penalty. The state was tasked with proving one of four aggravating circumstances in that case that would make Jonathan Renfro eligible for capital punishment in the 2015 shooting death of Sergeant Greg Moore. Kick 24th jury is working for you with the evidence presented today as the state rested his case. The jury is now deliberating and will soon know if this case is going to move into the final phase of the trial where jurors will have to decide if Jonathan Renfro will die for his crimes or be put to life in prison. But before we can get to that decision, the jury must first decide if the state has proven without a doubt that Jonathan Renfro is eligible for that punishment. Both inmates and employees of the Kootenai County Jail testified in court today. They were questioned about conversations with Renfro. One testified Renfro said he was out burglarizing vehicles and aimed for Moore's face. The other saying he heard Renfro making threats against guards. The state closed by arguing all four aggravating factors have been proven without a doubt throughout the course of this case. The jury is allowed to use evidence presented during the guilt phase of the trial as well. Prosecutors reiterated testimonies that said Renfro participated in burglaries on a nearly nightly basis. They also argued Renfro's willingness to kill an officer without provocation, then threaten others in jail while knowing the state was seeking death shows he's an ongoing threat to society and would likely murder again. But the defense said none of these aggravating circumstances have been proven, arguing there is no evidence Renfro attempted a burglary or robbery that night. It also relied on the fact that despite his threats, Renfro has never actually attempted to harm anyone else. If the jury finds that Renfro is guilty of an aggravator, then both sides will have to argue why Renfro should be put to death or spend the rest of his life in prison. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene, Drew Reeves, KXLY4 News.